Hey, welcome to our shop just outside Kennesaw here in North Georgia. Well, a friend of mine bought this table. I think it's probably a lane of claim, and it's been painted. And if you can see right there, it's the quality of paint job we normally see come in when people want it reversed. And he asked me if I could strip this for him. And yeah, I can, but the problem is when you have open grain wood like the walnut and the ash in these uh, lane of claim tables, and you have all this gray pigment, Sometimes you get a ghost or a hazing of the wood where the, the pigment just won't come out. So what I'm going to try to do is see if I can scrape a lot of this paint off before I apply the stripper and uh, maybe even hit it with a sander, although I just want to be real careful about sanding these because we know how thin the veneer is on these tables. So I will uh, get started. Here we go. I'm really not sure what to expect here. Let me go this way so I'm not in your way. I'm using a cabinet scraper and I just sharpened this. Well, it looks like it's in a claim. And I think I'm going to be able to get a lot of this paint off by scraping it. It's going to be fairly tedious. So let me get to this. I'll put you to sleep if you watch me do this much longer. And anytime you're dealing with a piece of furniture that's been painted, you have to be very careful that there's probably damage underneath. And I don't know if you can see it, but I see a big old water ring right here. Let's spend a few minutes see if we can get this uh, awful paint job off of this table. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so far... We're pretty lucky. It appears that, well, it's no surprise, whoever painted this painted right over the, uh, the lacquer, and the lacquer has protected the paint pigment from getting into the, into the wood grain. And by us manually removing this paint, we haven't created a slurry full of gray pigment that would penetrate into the wood. So I'll continue to uh, scrape this off, and we're going to have to spend some time scraping the, the legs and the braces. So far, so good, and I'm pleasantly surprised. Well, I'll tell you what, he's one lucky guy. Getting that paint off. That's what I'm using. That's just a cabinet scraper. But we're getting there. Next step is to take off that bottom shelf so we can get that scrape clean. And by the overspray on the underside of the table, I can determine that this paint was sprayed on. And whoever did it sprayed it right on over the existing finish, which as we all know, for a lasting paint job is a no-no. And while I got it upside down, let's get these legs, start scraping these legs off. And as I've said in, my other, in some of my other videos, you can date Lane Acclaim Furniture by reading the serial number backwards. So it would be 022566. So February... 25th, 1966 was the date that this was manufactured. And I decided to knock off, uh, scraping off the legs while I had the table together for stability reasons. And then to get this shelf off, it's just held in with four screws that sit in notches in these legs. So no real big deal getting this off. And the underside of the table is not finished and the paint has indeed soaked into the grain on the underside of the table. So we're very fortunate that we didn't have that problem on the front. Okay, the table has been uh, scraped off, all the paint's been scraped off, that's ready to strip and sand. And now we just got to get the shelf done. Okay, we've got 99.9% uh, .9 of that paint scraped off of there. And uh, I've only been commissioned to get the finish off. So I'm just going to use some stripper and steel wool and kind of scrub off the last of the, uh, the lacquer, the last of the paint, bring it, get it back to the owner. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the tool that I used. 
This is the main tool I use. It's called a cabinet or a card scraper. This one is by Baco, B-A-H-C-O. It's made in Sweden. It's basically just a piece of steel and what you do when you sharpen it is you flatten the edge and then you take a, a hard piece of steel like the, uh, the shaft of a screwdriver and you go over it and you create a little micro hook on the edge and you could feel that. Now this is dull because we've just been using it but that hook would go kind of down like this and when you scrape that's where you get your sharpness from. So that's the cabinet scraper or the card scraper. And the, the other tool that I use is this little hand scraper. This is also I believe by Baco and it works really really well. It's one of the few scrapers I've ever had that actually works good and you can uh, unscrew it and flip this edge around three times before you have to replace the blade. So between the little scraper and the card scraper, that's how we got all this paint off. The reason we got it off one more time is to avoid that paint pigment getting in the open grain of the wood. And we're getting ready to strip this. Because I've scraped it off, it's going to be a different kind of stripping. It's really just going to be kind of a scrubbing with some stripper and steel wool. You know, not to sound like a safety sally again, but if you choose to use stripper, make sure that you follow the directions including personal protective equipment that's recommended and ventilation most importantly. But I'm just going to apply this stripper with steel wool. And if there's any paint remote remaining it's usually down inside dents and you just kind of scrub it a little bit and it'll come up and the spots that remain <laughs> the little bits of lacquer I didn't scrape off so we're just gonna let those soak a little bit better there you go, that's all there is to it. When we're done, we will uh, neutralize it with, uh, well, we'll rinse it off with some lacquer thinner, and then we will neutralize it with some water, and we will be done. Like I said, the owner is gonna be the person who refinishes this. He just uh, didn't want to tackle the stripping job. I guess I can't blame him. Now, isn't that mow better than Battleship Gray? I think so. And on the top, I'm just applying some liquid stripper with a piece of 4 aught steel wool, scrubbing any remaining paint spots, which are coming right up, and then wiping it off with a rag. Looks a whole lot better, don't it? And now we're just going to wipe it down with a little lacquer thinner. That'll get any residue off of it. the uh, bottom shelf back on and all I do is line up the holes with an awl before I put the screws in. I did mark one corner to the you know to its legs so I knew which way this went. And in my final step I just go through with a real fine tooth comb and look for any place I might have missed and get it up with a razor blade. And if you're going to have a miss, it's going to be in a place like this where it's really hard to get to and see. But just take the extra time I do anyways to make sure that we didn't leave anything behind. And this way at least you can say that my part of the project was done to the best of my ability. And there it is, all stripped off. Ready to be refinished by the owner. Nineteen sixty-six. I think it came out pretty good. Well, hey, that's going to do it for this one. Appreciate you coming along. Just another tool in your belt to use that cabinet scraper or card scraper to get that paint off before you hit it with a stripper, so you keep the pigment 
out of the open grain wood. From our shop just outside Kennesaw here in North Georgia. Best regards. Thanks for watching. Take good care. And remember, just wood colored some shiny stuff even if somebody else puts it on. And we take it off. We'll see you next video. Bye.